Carl's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. Hi, if this is your first time here, let me just move my chair in. I've got my candle lit. This is the Winter Spice one. For anybody that may need thoughts, prayers or positivity, and I know there's quite a few out there that need really need it at the moment. So, I've come to show you my pen stash. Jeremy from and Christy, Jeremy from JTNJ Crafts and Christy from Crafting with Christy put on a challenge for everybody to show their uh, diamond pen tin pen stash. And I kept meaning to do it, kept meaning to do it, kept meaning to do it. And you know, everything, life gets in the way. But the last day to do it was today. So I thought, right, get your ass into gear, Cal. Get your pen stash. As you can see, it ain't very big. <laughs> but I don't care. But we'll start. Shall I move them over to there a bit? And we'll start with this one. This is... Well, no, actually, that was the first one. That's the first one I made. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All I did was put a bit of leather around it just to hide the pink. But it works perfectly well. And it's got free place on it, look. And it did me for ages. Then my this pen ran out. So I decided, right, I'm going to convert that pen. So I converted that one. <clears throat> and this is a uni ball, just a gel pen. You know. And you put the lid back on. So that was the second one. I was quite proud of that one. It's a bit messy in there, but we don't need to <laughs> look at that one. Then that one of the kids had a pen that ran out, which was this one. And I was hoping that I could do the old, um, but that didn't work. So that was that's quite comfortable to hold. I'd forgotten I got these until I just started looking. And then I bought this one to convert it. And as you can see, I covered it in glue. I got glue all over my fingers, super glue, and I got it all over everywhere. But it's still pretty. And it's got a screen thing so I could do the... When I had a touch screen laptop, I haven't got one now. But when I did, I could just go like that. And I was chuffed with them for ages. I was quite happy. And then the beautiful Rachel Ray... Decided to open an Etsy shop and she did these pens and they've got the little thing that you can do the doodah on the screen. Now I've had this probably coming up two years. It was whenever Rachel opened, it wasn't long after Rachel opened her Etsy shop. Um, she did all different colours. I think she might still have some in there, I'm not sure, but the shop's shut at the moment. But... <coughs> And this, I still love this one because it's really lightweight. It's really thin in your hand and it's really, really lightweight. And I love the, the colours and the crystals in there. I still you go back to using this one all the time. Then it was this one. This is my first one, apart from that, that polymer clay and only polymer clay one I've got. This was from Etsy from a stall, EPS, I think it was. Um... Yeah, it was. It's all. It's it's all right actually. The only trouble is, I don't know if you can see, but all the whatever she used to. I mean, that bit there is my fault, because I laid it down on top of my sticky canvas and it pulled it off. So that bit there is my fault. But these bits here, there's some there and some there starting to crack. It's just where cracks have appeared. So I don't know whether that's the heat. So I might get my nail polish and um, top coat top coat nail polish and put it just put it over to stop it going any more. Tidy it up a bit and then. But I like that. I like the colours of that. And that's really nice and easy in the hand. Then I had a word with my hubby. I said, can you make one that's even lighter when my hands can't hardly hold anything? So he said, yeah. So he did this shape. And if you've got problems with your hands, this is brilliant. It's all just carved with a knife, nothing else. No hand turning machines that everybody uses. Nothing like that, just a little knife. That's all he used. Well, he did use the axe to cut out a little slither of wood to make it, but then, yeah, just a little knife. He just sat there and whittled it away. Um, I did have a little axe. There was another three or four placer in that one. And because this is the first one that he made, he didn't put, um, any support in the wood he doesn't does on the ones that I've, he's given away and um, I cracked it 
because I was a bit heavy handed and there's a crack in it somewhere. There is a crack in there somewhere. Oh, there it is there. Um, but this is, and you can pull them out. See, now he, now what he does is he gets the pink pens, you know the pink pens from these, he just cuts a bit of the tubing off there, drills the hole, puts it in, the glues it in there, and then you've got a perfect fit then for any of these that you use. So I've given a few of them to friends on here. <clears throat> so they'll probably be able to tell you what the feel of them are like, but they are. Yeah. So he has made a, 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 sm a shorter one as well, which is in my box that's half made. He got a bit bored. <laughs> it's all right when he's making it from everybody else, but when he makes it for his wife, yeah, he gets a bit bored. And that's the colour I chose. But I really like that one, again, because it's lightweight. And when my hands are sore, it, it's so easy just to, to to fit in my hand. I haven't got to spread my fingers wide or anything. Just sit to where my hands fall normally. And it just slots in. So that's that one. Now this one I've never, ever used. This came with an AliExpress, I think. At one time they were sending them. I probably got about four or five of these. Um, I think they're nail pens. I'm not going to pull that off because it's a bugger to put back on. But I think they're nail gems. You know the gems that you stick on your nails. I think this is what it's for. So you've got like the plasticky, um, not plasticky, like candle wax sort of stuff on there that you can pick them up. And then you've got the little tiny one there that you can put some... Um, What's it called? Not putty. Wax in that end and use it. But I've never used it, but it's pretty. I keep saying I'm going to get, give it a go, but I never have. So that's that one. Like I say, I've got about four or five of them just shoved in a box. So that's that one. Then my gorgeous, gorgeous friend, Trees Addy and her son, Teddy sent me a parcel and sent me a diamond painting pen isn't that beautiful no idea where, she got, <laughs> where it came from but this is smooth i mean all the rest of my pens i think are done on 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 a wood turning machine what they call lathes which are beautiful because you just use your chisels on them i'm trying to persuade hubby to get a lathe but he's in he said no i like to do things by hand i don't want any machinery I said, well, I could have a go then. I could make my own pens, but yeah, he's not keen on that idea at the moment. So I've got this one, and I love red. I'm looking, I don't know if you can see it sparkle. But that's a beautiful one to hold either end. It's quite evenly based, top and bottom, that one. And this one was off D. I think her surname's Hull, and her son Mason. She sent me... Um, being in the last year a little package she, well she sent me some harbour freights that was it she said because oh, I was on about that I wanted some harbour so she sent me two harbour freights and she sent me some of this this and some wax as well and this is a nice one I didn't think I'd like it I have to be honest because it was so bumpy here I thought my hands I can't use it for long but I have to put my fingers up there I can't put my fingers down there or up there I have to put it in there because the bumps get in the way I do find then it's awkward to, to ha hold, hop. the more bumps it seems to have, the more awkward I find it to hold. So, but this is nice just to use now and again. And I do use a four placer end a lot on this one, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it's all bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. And it's been filed down a few times. But Millie, absolutely, that's Millie's favourite. Millie loves this one. This is the one she'll go to use if she when she's diamond painting. She'll use that one. Now Jessie will still use a pink one. She ain't bothered what she uses. But Millie loves that one. That's Millie's favourite. And then Elizabeth and her husband um, from Enablers Post. You probably all know their their, their work because their quality is, is well out of this world. Was well, because we were overseas last year, she put um on her page we could bid overseas people could bid on this pen and whoever got the highest bid she would pay half the postage for it to come which I thought was very very generous of her so I won very rare I win a bid but I did win this one and she sent it me and she sent 
sent you know she always sends you little little tiny treat things and um a key ring and i can't remember what the other thing was but it was beautiful beautifully packaged and sent and i absolutely this is a rainbow of colors i don't know if it's pick there you are you can see it picking up the blues there and it's got like shimmery but as you turn it it just changes and shimmers and oh it's beautiful absolutely beautifully done and again this one is really nice to hold there and I have got a big placer on that one. Don't ask me what placer that is. A nine, I think, because I'm practicing. I'm not doing very well, but I'm practicing. So, yeah, so that's my one to practice with that one. And then, you know, if you get one that's a bit dry, you just spin it round. But that's beautiful. I love that one. Then I found a UK, um, I think it was Lisa Bradley. She's a bit of an enabler, she is, in the UK. Um, from Sparkling Paint, Sparkling Diamond Painting on facebook she said oh found a shop in the uk she says that do acrylic pens i said great great send me the link so she did so i went on there and it's called diamond painting pen creations on facebook so this is the first one i got look at the colors and swirls of that absolutely now she does do them double-ended but i asked for the single ended on these just just because i hadn't got any that were just tapered at the end there Again, this is lightweight and easy to slip in my hands because I've got big hands, but I haven't got a very good grip. So that's an ideal size for my grip. So I got that one. Then I got this one. I have bought others from her, but I've given, given away. But then I bought this green one because I, I used to hate green. Oh my God, did I hate green with a passion when I was younger. But I'm really, over the last sort of 10 years, I've really become to love greens. And this one has got the most beautiful greens in it. They're the type of greens. Can you see it all changing and shimmering? There's bits of shimmer in there as well. So I've got that one. Then I thought, well, I've got them, so I might as well order um, a two-ended one. So well, this is the two-ended one I've got. But I like this because I thought this was an unusual colour. I'd not seen a colour. It's like beigey, yellowy beige, and then greys with the black, the black on the very edge. I'm not sure if it's not quite picking up the colour. Probably there's probably there a bit better. And again, I've got my three placer because that's all I could manage, and the single placer. But again, you can pull them out. Um, she's done the same trick. Just put the pink in the end of there. Which are ideal because you know your ends are gonna to fit fit in. This end she hasn't, but that end she has. That one's just a hole and it's fitted in. I think that's secured in. But you can replace you can replace them, I think. I've not tried, but I'm not gonna try until I have to. Then I heard of another site called Diamond. Oh, let me get this. Diamond Painting Pen Shed in the UK, um, just before Christmas. Again, I think it was Lisa that put me in touch with this one. Um, and they were doing glitter pens, and I wanted to get Trees one, and I wanted to get myself one. So I got these, and I shed all different colours again. Lovely, lovely ladies, same as um, Creations. They were so helpful. Nothing was too much trouble. And I got this one, and again, exactly the right fit for me. And a tapered end. Then Rachel Ray being the enabler she had, she bought um, from right paintings with diamonds on u.uk I think it is on their website. It's not paint with diamonds, it's paintings with diamonds and she does accessory for diamond painting. She does trays and all sorts. Well, she did a box for Valent oh no, for Halloween um, and Rachel showed it oh, three, probably four weeks before Valentine, um, why did I see Valentine? Before Halloween and it was a box like you've got a tray, you've got a pen, you've got some cover minders, some wax. It was all different bits and pieces in it and I really liked it so I ordered it um, and I waited and I waited and waited and because of Covid you wait didn't you and I waited and I thought god there's only a week left to Halloween and it still hasn't come so I contacted her and said look I've left it a couple of weeks and she said oh it got dispatched within three days she said she said 
let me go and have a look she said you should have had it weeks ago so she went back on tracked it on her numbers because I, I didn't have one, a number to track it she said oh it's gone to Durham I think it had gone and um, she said they said they couldn't deliver it in Durham so they're sending it back to us she said there's nothing on that parcel even close to say in Durham I mean it couldn't get any further away than than where I am in Wales so she said, oh, she said, I'm so, so sorry. She said, there's no point in me sending you a Halloween because by the time I send you the Halloween one, it's going to be gone. She said, how about, she said, you can have one of the Christmas ones. I haven't put them out yet, but you can be one of the first people to get the Christmas one. So I said, yeah, great. But she did a video on it and it's fantastic. But look at this pen. This is the pen that came with the kit. Came with a four placer, single placer. But look, as I turn the glitter. Oh, look at the sparkle! Can you see the sparkle? And it's like a real deep, rich green, like a grass, well, moss green, probably I'd say that, but it's the most beautiful coloured green. Absolutely Christmassy green, if you know what I mean. But it's beautiful. Reef green, that's what I was trying to think of, reef green. It is beautiful. Absolutely that. Again, can't hold this one for too long because there's too many bobbles in there and my hands want to go up there but it's just a beautiful I just love the colour of that one but it's all right for short term then this is my most recent purchase this is from the same shop that I got that one from this is from um, Diamond Painting Shed um, oh, did I have that one? I might not have had that one from the shed. I might have had that one from the, the same one. That could be from Creations. I'm not sure now. I'm just thinking back. It's either one or the other one, that one. But this one's definitely from Diamond Painting Pen Shed. But I ordered two of these. One I'm giving to my friend who's in hospital. been in hospital for a few weeks. So she's going to get that when she goes out. But the difference is the ends. I don't know, we've got another one that I can show you better because I'm a bit dirty. Don't look at my dirty ends. Can you see the lengths? This one is a brass. Oh, hang on, can you see? That one's a brass end and they do brass three places, I think it is. I'm not sure if they do five places, but I know they do three places. Brass three places. I have used it and it's lovely, but you can see the end of it slightly different. If you haven't got any of the plastic, it's all brass. And that was the same price as these that I got from somewhere else. They're all the same price. And she does just say do double-ended. But I saw the blank of this one and I loved it. Then I asked her, could she do me, find me another blank to do one similar? But this one I like because it's small, but this is really lightweight. Really, really, really lightweight. And I like the lightweight ones in my hands. They don't hurt. Yeah, and all these pens are rough. Well, apart from the ones I've been given m2 are all roughly the same price i think that's the cheapest the polymer clay that's about i think she sells them now for about 550 on etsy that one was probably the most expensive because that's cost me a lifetime of making cups of tea and coffee on demand <laughs> <laughs> and then last week i received this one in the post of my friend lisa i haven't used this one yet but it's got a lovely diamond on it and it's got the cap that goes on and off i have put wax in it ready to go but i haven't used it yet so i keep thinking i'm gonna have a go again and go and then i forget about it so yeah that is my collection of all my diamond painting pens as i say i don't use them ones anymore or that one they've been ferreted away in my pencil case i don't know why but i just have but these ones I do. Oh, and that one I don't. But all of these are usually in this little pot that my Jessie made me a couple of years ago. Was it last year or the year before? To hold my pens. And they all get put in there. So, yeah. Oh, there's this one as well that Lisa gave me. With this waxy stuff on the end. It's a waxy pencil. I've not tried that either. So, that I think that'll be good for um, your special drills. Maybe not so much your round or squares, but I think that would be ideal for special drills. So, yes, I hope you like my uh, collection of diamond paintings. Let me know, pens. Let me know down below what you think. Thank you for stopping by and 
checking out this video i really really appreciate it and saying thank you to jeremy and christy for doing this challenge because without that i wouldn't have shown them and i wouldn't have found these ones again either so with that said if you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying along and seeing what my channel's about the subscribe button's down below down there and there's also a notification button which lets you know when i go live which is on a sunday and when i put up videos which is a few times a week also my social media and the comments boxes down below if you want to have a chat and let me know what pens you like or what's your favorite or what your favorite stories in the uk or the usa because i'm in the uk and what else i think that's about it patreon and happy mail forms are down below as well but with that said thanks for stopping by take care look after yourselves and most importantly stay safe love you all bye